Let me talk about temperature, okay, um, and temperature scales, okay. This is uh, Celsius. Uh, Celsius puts the boiling point of water at 100 degrees Celsius and the freezing point of water at zero. Fahrenheit, for no particularly good reason, um, divides the same 100 degrees into 180 degrees between 32 and 212. Zero Fahrenheit just means a very cold temperature. I think Lord Fahrenheit, you know, that was as cold as it got. So, you know, why have a, why have something colder than that, right? You've never been to Alaska or something, right? Um, Kelvins is based on Celsius, right? So you'll see there's 100, 100 Kelvins between those, right? Um, and the uh, zero Kelvins is actual absolute zero. So that is absolute zero. That's, that's the coldest temperature there is, right? And then just, you know, if you look at this, 100 degrees here is here 180 degrees, right? So it's roughly, it's, I think it's like a, a, a one degree Celsius is a, a nine is, what is it? It's nine fifths uh, degree Fahrenheit, right? So there's, there's almost two degrees Fahrenheit for a degree Celsius, okay? Uh, for some reason, we don't say degrees Kelvin, maybe because it's an absolute scale. I, I don't know. Maybe when you get smart and go to college, you can tell me why. Um, and I already talked about what zero Fahrenheit, it's just a very cold temperature. This is absolute zero, and then this is just the freezing point of water, right? So there it is, right? And then let's make some formulas. Uh, I'll, I'll make some formulas on the next slide here for conversion. And then some, I had, I had a kid from uh, France gave me this great uh, way to remember. He said, 30 is hot, 20 is nice, 10 is cold, and zero is ice for Celsius, okay? Here's a graphic that I got that shows you uh, this is water freezes, water boils, right? And then absolute zero is, of course, zero kelvins. That's why this is this is what we use for the ideal gas law, okay? Okay, we must use kelvins, okay? Uh, Celsius minus 273 is um, absolute zero Celsius, right? And then if you're talking about Fahrenheit, uh, and this is a very little used number, but but there it is, right? Okay. And then um, our formulas would be this. I think if you're going to go from, uh, obviously, if, if you want to go to Kelvin's, right? Kelvin's is, uh, what, degrees Celsius plus 273.15. You might want to write these down, right? And um, what is that? Is that right? That is right. Okay. And then a degree Celsius would be Kelvin's minus 273.15. And then, uh, let's see. Degrees Celsius is degrees Fahrenheit. You want to subtract 32 to make it zero, right? And then I think there's not as many of these guys. So you go times five ninths, right? Is that right? I think that's right. Yeah, I put 32 in. Yeah, that works. That works. Okay, and then degrees Fahrenheit is, um, what is that? That is degrees Celsius times nine fifths. And then add 32. Is that right? Yeah, that works. You might want to write these down. These are our formulas for conversion, right? Okay. I think that's it. I think that's all I have to say. You've got these formulas, and then you can try the example problems.